the name of the Father and the Son, Holy Spirit, one God. I mean, how are you, everyone? We have today Anthony and Mina and Daniel and Pierre. Uh, we are talking today about the titles of our Lord Jesus Christ as were mentioned in the Bible. There are many titles uh, uh, in the Bible about our Lord Jesus Christ, and we just are trying to highlight uh, some of them during or through these presentations we have. So we talk to, today about Son of God. You can easily find all of the presentations on this playlist, which is called Tuesday Bible Study Meeting. We we'll start with the first one, which is talking about the only begotten Son, John 1, 18. No one has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son who is in the bosom of the Father, he has declared him. And as a comment of this verse is talking about here about the incarnation of our Lord Jesus Christ. And in this incarnation, we can see, we can see God and we can see uh, uh, the work of God and the deeds of God and how all of what he did is for us and for our salvation, as we say in the creed. That's why this incarnation declared God to us. We didn't know God before. We didn't know a lot about God before. But through the incarnation of our Lord Jesus Christ, we had the chance to know him and to understand him and to live through him. And that's what we're going to talk about it today. So we go to the second verse. Okay, the second one's from John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Um, and and again, next... this, this one is showing us that God loves the, his creation. God loved us. That's why he gave us his only begotten son. It's like you give uh, uh, the people you love the most important uh, 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 thing you have in your life. So he gave us his uh, only begotten son. So we not perish, but we have everlasting life because we believe in the incarnation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Next verse. Um, the next verse is from Galatians chapter 4, it's verse, verse, verse 4 and 5. Um, but when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive the adopti the adoption, that, that we might receive the adoption as sons. And the next one is from uh, 1 John, the epistle of John number 1, chapter 4, verse 9. In this love, in this, the love of God was manifested towards us, that God has sent his only begotten son into the world, that we might live through him. This is what we want to say. We live through him. We live through the incarnation of our Lord Jesus Christ. We look to the whole world around us. We look to every single thing happening to us in our life through the incarnation of our Lord Jesus Christ and through his eyes and through his deeds and through whatever we learn from him uh, through his incarnation. So we might live through him, through the uh, uh, sacraments and through the life of the church, we, uh, we touch our Lord Jesus Christ and we live this life through him. Next verse. Um, John chapter 1, verse 14. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. This is the glory, and this is the grace, and the grace and the truth. In Jesus, there is truth. The truth is in Jesus and in his incarnation and in the Holy Trinity. Our next verse is John 3, when um, uh, our Lord Jesus Christ says, The Father loves the Son and has given all things into his hand. He who believes in the Son has everlasting life, and he who does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides in him, on him. And this is from Old Testament, because in Old Testament, no one can do the law, can fulfill the law. That's why there is wrath of God that will be on the people, 
or for the people, but through the incarnation of our Lord Jesus Christ and all what he did while he was on earth, that's why we believe in him. And we believe, because we believe in him, we have this everlasting life. And we, 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 we trust this. We live in this uh, truth that we have everlasting life because we believe in our Lord Jesus Christ. Next verse. The next verse is from John 5, 21 to 23. For as the Father raises the dead and gives life to them, even so the Son gives life to whom he will. For the Father judges no one, but has committed all judgments to the Son, that all should honor the Son, just as they honor the Father. He who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Can you comment from anyone? <laughs> this verse here is showing us that what the father did is exactly what the son did and exactly what the holy spirit did and we believe in holy trinity and they are in one essence and what they give to us is from this one essence and we live through this, this one essence. That's why we honor the Father, we honor the Son, and we honor the Holy Spirit. Um, next. The, next, the next verse is from Romans chapter 8, um, verse 31 and 32. It's, what then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? not with him also freely give us all things what does it mean it means if god gave us his only begotten son the son of god so what else he will take from us or what he can take out from us he can he can give us everything he gave us everything in his son so through this incarnation and through this incarnation he gave us his own son his only begotten son the big big thing he can give to us is the only begotten son so he can give us everything he can give us purity he can give us holiness he can give us to be uh, his sons and daughters and he can give us eternal life so we live in this life on this truth and on this trust that he can give us everything freely from his hands. The next one is from First John chapter 5, verse 12. He who has the Son has life. He, he who does not have the Son of God does not have life. It's very explanatory. It's just saying if Jesus Christ is not with you and is not in your heart and you don't act like Jesus Christ in your life, you will not have eternal life. That's why it's saying he does not have life if you don't have Jesus. Thanks, Thanks Habib. Next. Um, John chapter 9, verse 35 to 38. Jesus heard that they had cast him out. And when they had found him, he said to him, Do you believe in the Son of God? He answered and said, Who is he? <clears throat> Who is he, Lord, that I may, that I might believe in him? And Jesus said to him, You have seen him, and it is he who is talking with you. Then he said, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped him. Do you know which one is talking to Jesus here in this situation? Which man? In John 9? Mm -hmm. the, the blind man. The blind man. After they uh, cast him away from the synagogue and everything, Jesus found him and talked to him again. And he said to him, do you believe in the Son of God? So we, we, he, Jesus wants us to believe that he is the Son of God. And he said, who is he? Who is he? And he said, he who is talking with you. Then this blind man, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped him. That's why we worship our Lord Jesus Christ. We worship from our heart before our body. We worship by our mind before our body. We worship because we believe in him and we believe that he can heal us from our diseases, from our personal diseases and from our 
uh, 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 sins and from our mistakes and wow. all of this. That's why we believe and we worship him. Next verse is John 3, 18. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son. Because for those who don't believe in our Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten son, how can how can they uh, uh, go to eternal life? They can't. They will be condemned. That's why in the name of the only begotten Son of God, we believe. And that's why we have the creed. The creed is because we declare our faith and we declare our belief in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Next verse. Therefore, if the Son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. John 8, 36. I'm sure you can talk about this one. I don't know anything I mean. <laughs> what does it mean to be free? Free of what? Sins. Free of study? Or, <laughs> or free of what? Free of sins. Free of uh, anything takes us down to the earth. Free means you live in the he in heaven while you are on earth. You are free. And this is what we saw in the sense. This is what we saw in St. Paul. This is what we saw in St. Anthony. And this is what we saw in St. Bishoy and St. Marina. The, we, we saw this in many, many sense. They live on earth, but they live in heaven. Okay? And 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 also we saw this in Habib Gerges. Uh, you know, it's a, a in in any in any situation you still can live earth. You you can live heaven on earth because when you believe in our Lord Jesus Christ truly and the truthfully, truth, uh, faithfully, the Son makes us free and the free indeed from everything we uh, hold us related to earth. Next verse. The next verse is from Luke chapter 10, verse 22. All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and the one to whom the Son wills to reveal him. Uh, I think it's kind of like the verse that Mina read, where you know Jesus Christ is the life, and whoever believes in Jesus Christ therefore has the life. Uh, yeah, I was just paraphrasing, but uh, it's uh, I think it's a lot like that. We we The only way you're going to see the Son and the only way you know you're going to see life is through Jesus Christ and through the Father and through the Holy Trinity, and that's why it's only like it's there's a difference between being Christian and being baptized and just being a, a good person in the world who doesn't believe in anything. Because the only way you can have that key to eternal life is not just works, but you have to also have faith. Uh, yeah. Excellent, David. Thank you. And 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 on top of that, on top of the beautiful things you just said, is when we we go in praying and we go with our heart, we pray deeply from our hearts. There is reveal, there is reveal for every one of us, not only for 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 special people. No, it's for every one of us when we when we pray heartily and faithfully. And uh, deeply, there is a reveal. God will reveal to us something. God will reveal to us his will to us, to every one of us. God will reveal how to, to, to what we're going to do in future and all of this. So there is a reveal. And we pray and we uh, put our hearts for this reveal. Next one. The next one is from Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 to 17. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus answered and said to him, blessed are you, Simon, but John, for flesh and blood has not has not revealed this to you, but my father who is in heaven. Another revelation, you know, it's a revelation from heaven, from the father, to Sam Peter to say that you are the son of the living God, which is a revelation. And we have this when we pray, when we pray from the deep, deepest points of our heart. Last one. 
Um, the last one is Galatians uh, chapter 2, verse 20. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. The Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. And I hope you, you say it. Everyone to say it. And this is one of the very uh, 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 least times when we have some Paul talking about himself. He loved me and he gave himself for me. The salvation of our Lord Jesus Christ is for everyone. Yes, it's for everyone. But every one of us, he has to feel it personally. He has to understand it personally. Who loved me and he gave himself to me. That's why... We serve, that's why we do this, we do this, because we we have this in our heart, in our mind, in our soul. We have the faith in the Son of God. And that's why we go to the next uh, slide and uh, we hear an uh, uh, explanation from Bob Shenouda. Bob Shenouda says in his book on the creed, on our Lord Jesus Christ as Son of God, he said, it's not like normal uh, sonship. It's eternal sonship, not linked to time, and there has no time difference. No time difference. Uh, 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 that's why we can say the Father was there and the Son was not there. No, there is no time difference. Both the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, they are there uh, before the beginning, as what happens in human sonship. It is a natural sonship as a ray is born from the sun and as light is born from fire. Anthony, can you read the, the creed and the, uh, uh, the hymn, please? Yeah. Um, so this is the part of the creed that says, We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light out of light, true God out of true God, begotten not created of one essence with the Father. And this uh, hymn we sing on Good Friday, um, called in English, O Only Begotten Son, uh, says, O Only Begotten Son, eternal and immortal word of God, before our salvation did will to be incarnate of the holy birth giver, birth giver of God and ever virgin Mary, who was without change, who without change became man and was crucified, O Christ God, trampled down death by death, one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with Father and the Holy Spirit save us. Look, the church uh, uh, teaches us the faith in the hymns, in the creed, in the liturgy. So we sing the, the, the theology. We love the theology. That's why the church puts the theology in our hymns. And we believe in this. And we live through this. And the saints live through this. That's why they are our saints and they are our fathers and we live in this face thanks everyone and the glory be to god forever and ever amen, amen.